Hi, my name is Tom Glass. I'm the pastor here in the Kalispell, Columbia Falls area. And uh, I moved up here uh, to Montana from uh, Los Angeles. You know what it's like to be in Montana. You know, after two weeks, you're no longer a stranger, but after 20 years, you're still a newcomer. You go to visit somebody, and, and uh, the lake that they live on uh, matches their last name. And so uh, instead of me being a focus of ministry here, uh, I'm moving now in a direction where I'm taking advantage um, of the people who have a history here and their ability to reach out to people that they meet and uh, uh, work with uh, those who are established. It's a harder work, but at the same time, it's work God's called us to. And one of my members complained to me that I had an elder named Gregory Pascal that really didn't do much in the church. And I said, well, that's good. And they said, why? I said, because Greg's been called to do something outside the church. I'm a lawyer here. I've been here since 1977 and transplant from the East Coast. I've had an opportunity in the last 27 years to be part of the Kalispell Seventh-day Adventist Church. And the church in approximately 20 years ago spawned a church up in Columbia Falls, a small town just north of here. So we've had the opportunity to participate in one church planning. And uh, we need people like Gregory Pascal. This community's grown a lot in the 27 years I've been here. It's gone from an extremely rural community to a community that's taken on a very definite uh, upper middle class perspective. That's given us a different view and different opportunities than we had 25 years ago to do evangelism. He had the vision of being able to uh, plant a church in Big Fork, a town southeast from us, a little community on the lake, their Flathead Lake. And so he he talked to me about it, and we, talk, we looked at the DVD, and we said, you know, that's a great way to, to do that. And so we planned it and, and found the place to do it and, and put together the brochures and mailed them out. And then we found ourselves fighting up against the opening night of Big Fork football. We would have rather have done the opening night on Thursday, skip Friday, done Friday and uh, Saturday and Sunday. Though, because of the need to lock it in uniformly, I can understand why those decisions were made. But from a local perspective, we could have used a little more flexibility. And then also uh, discovering it was bow hunting season, which is a, kind of a different challenge here in the rural area. Um, something those of us from uh, the city was new to us. Anyways, uh, Greg, uh, we uh, had a, one person come from our 4,000 brochures. Uh, a little bit of disappointment there, but it was kind of fun to, to experiment out and try that. Good evening and welcome to Hope for the Homeland, our Bible seminar brought to you here in Big Fork, Montana. It's an opportunity to study together the Bible and what it provides for us for the future, for the present, and for tomorrow. Some other people came, but it didn't really work out, and uh, so we've decided to pull back on the meetings right now. All in all, the program we think is a success. Every time you preach the message of Jesus Christ, every time you present the gospel, whether it's to one or a hundred, we feel we're being successful. We're going to be taking a look at uh, what to do in, in the Big Fork area, and uh, Greg still has a real vision for uh, Big Fork and planning a church there, and we're going to continue that. We're going to go back probably in a little different format, but we will, Big Fork will see the DVD program again. They'll see it in a format that probably will be as important to them as the Hope for the Homeland series has been to us. Because I believe in the series. I think the series has much to offer. I have another lady by the name of Louise Stepp. And she plays the organ on Sunday mornings in this little Baptist church that has like 12 people there on a Sunday morning. And she has asked them to, uh, if she can rent the church, so she can start a church in Whitefish. Now Whitefish is an upcoming place. Uh, a lot of wealthy people move to the area. Uh, even Tiger Woods just bought some land there. Uh, to uh, build a house. So we're going to have some fun there and, and uh, I just really enjoy having Louise and having Gregory and, and people that have that pioneering spirit. <laughs>